Hello everyone, today we're looking at four um, Star Wars pop vinyls I recently picked up. Two are from the movie The Force Awakens, which as of this recording has not been released. Two are from just, I, I don't know, I guess it's a classic Star Wars, I don't know what to call it. <clears throat> but let's take a look at them. Just want to show them all to you at first. We're going to start with this C-3PO. Let me zoom in a little bit on that. This C-3PO was, it's, I really like the look of it. I saw this at Hot Topic. It is a Funko uh, exclusive. Uh, they had them at Hot Topic. Maybe you can still find them there, maybe not. I really like the chrome look of him, of the C-3PO. Take, take him out, take a look at him. These are the only four pop vinyls I have on this series. I may be getting more because I really like them. Uh, so there's C-3PO, their little bobblehead. I think that's for licensing because they have to make bobbleheads, not figures or so something like that. I don't know. Can get a look around at him. Now it's very interesting. Let's go ahead and open up this C-3PO from the new movie. Because I noticed this right before I started filming. If you would have asked me, I would have said all they did was give C-3PO a, a red arm, as we'll have in the new movie apparently. But side by side looking at this, you can tell they're different. They're totally different sculptures. I think it's really nice they did that. Um, as you can see, the arms are in different positions. This uh, C-3PO is much stockier, thicker than this one. The heads are different, the eyes are bigger here, smaller here, you can kind of see the difference. Of course the red arm, which we'll find out here when the movie's out why he has a red arm. The bases are different too, you notice he's got kind of a stacked base. This one's more smooth on the side. Let's give you a, a look around. Yeah, let's kind of look at the backs of both of them. So I was just amazed at that detail. Yeah, again, you can see there's more detail on the newer one, particularly here on the back. So there we have two C-3PO's. There is also a, there's a new there's another version of this I just found out. You can get a chromed version at Barnes and Nobles. There's no Barnes and Nobles near me, so I'm probably going to have to deal with this one. But you never know. The other thing I found out is the base comes off of these, so if you wanted to, you could display them like that. Next we'll look at Chewbacca. Here he is, always everyone likes Chewbacca. Let's take him out. He has a piece of paper in the back of his, the others don't have that. It's an interesting difference. His base is removable as well. And here we have Chewbacca. Again, I'm guessing if there's a new Chewbacca for the new movie, and it looks like there is on the back of this. So you can see for The Force Awakens, you can see there's a new Chewbacca. Looks like the uh, sculpt is a little bit different. So if you really like Chewbacca, you may want to consider picking that one up. Finally, we have Kylo Ren. This is the Target version. And so I you know, I haven't seen the normal version, to be honest, other than in pictures. So, I believe the difference is he doesn't have a, this one, well, he, this one does not have a hood covering his, his helmet. You can see the full helmet. And I believe the normal, or the, ah, the non-exclusive, uh, the non-target version does not have, or has a, like a hood over themselves right there. If we just look at the picture briefly, you can see that. Right there, you can see it looks like he's got a little hood. Other than that, it looks pretty much the same. But here's Kylo Ren. I like this because I like the detail of the helmet you can see. Kind of beat up. There's a rumor this may be made from Darth Vader's helmet, maybe not. Yeah, another interesting detail I see here is the uh, cloak or whatever here is pretty much tattered rags. And of course, the sable, or the, ah, the lightsaber with the hilt. 
And he comes off, I believe, as well. Yep. But there you have my new Star Wars Pop Vinyls. I've entered a dangerous world of Star Wars Pop Vinyls. We'll see how far I get. Give them all. Let's have all of them. There we go. Nice little shot there. So this concludes our look at these Star Wars Pop Vinyls. Uh, leave a comment in the show notes. Let me know what you think of them. And have a great day.